Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Wildcats, keep standing because we have our motto. So the Washington Wildcats motto is to show really outstanding acts of respect. We respect ourselves, others, and the environment. Hey, Wildcats, it is I, Mr. Waloka. Today is Friday. Welcome to the winter wonderland of Friday. Wowzers. It is February, or February. It is April 8th, 2022. Let's go ahead and get today started with an awesome joke. Why are libraries the tallest buildings in the world? Because they have the most stories. You get it? Oh, it's a play on words. I love it. Oh, let me tell you another story about what we're going to have for lunch today. We have baked masacholi, teriyaki chicken, a crispy chicken wrap, apple slices, tater tots, and of course the delicious milk on the side. Hey, we also want to celebrate a couple birthdays today. So a big happy birthday goes out to Xavier Pearson and Skylar Woodard. Woo woo! Happy birthday! And we have a staff birthday today. Big happy birthday goes out to Mrs. W. Woo 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 woo! In fifth grade. Make sure that if you have Mrs. W, you're on your best behavior for her. It's her birthday. Make her happy. We also want to continue to celebrate our National Library Week. So today is the final day of that National Library Week. And today's fun library fact is Vermont is the home of the Haskell Free Library and Opera House, which sits directly on the border between the United States and Canada. You can walk in from Quebec and walk out into Vermont. You don't need a passport to cross the literal line running through the building, but you do have to return to your country of origin for risk fines <laughs> or risk fines. That's funny. Uh, today's National Library book winners are. <laughs> Kindergarten, we have Jordani, Severina Pisano, and James Edelson. In first grade, we have Yamileth, Carrero, uh, Eva Chavira, I'm so sorry, Yamileth, and Denise Zapeta. In second grade, we have Braylon Brunn and Adeline Villa Pondo. In third grade, we have Adrian uh, Gani Duarte and Karen Barone Velateria. Velateria. In fourth grade, we have Jer uh, Jer Jerim Andrade and Jasmine Mujica. In fifth grade, we have Juliana uh, Medina Munoz and Hamilton Martinez Sanchez. Woo -woo! We hope that you have enjoyed Library Week. Be sure to check out the great display of all of our favorite books in the hallway outside the library. I know I have enjoyed walking past and reading all those fantastic ideas of those fantastic books. We also want to celebrate our Wildcat Weekly winners and our bucket fillers for the week. We have a couple bucket fillers. We'll, we'll talk about those first. We have Miss Nelson's class. We have Itzel Hernandez. And in Miss Brenner's class, we have Rayleigh Abel. And now for our Wildcat Weekly winners. In Mrs. Peter's class, we have Christian Sita. In Miss Nelson's class, we have Perla Garcia Morano. In Miss Jacobson's class, we have Colton Nichols. In Miss Alwyn's class, we have Anias Terrazas. And in Miss Brenner's class, we have Lucas Mendoza. And in Miss uh, Villafuerte's class, we have Dylan Hernandez. And in Miss uh, Flores's class, we have Shania Overly. In Miss Keithley's class, Emerson Pollock. And Miss Holstead's class, Denver Cell. And last but not least, in Miss Ron's class, we have Leah O'Sullivan. Woo -woo. Hey, thanks for doing the right thing. Thanks for earning those Wildcat tickets and showing the rest of your classmates in the building what it means to be a good Wildcat and to be kind to others. We really appreciate that. We also want to continue with our celebration of traveling around the world. And today's location that we get to experience is France. So enjoy. 
we reached the end of the first week for our world tour. For today, we are still going to be in Europe, but we're going to travel northeast a little bit to a country called France. So yesterday we were in Spain, and now we're traveling a little bit northeast to France right here. Here are some cool facts about France that you guys may or may not know. There are about 67.4 million people that live in France. And I should also mention that's a very popular destination tour for vacation. If you ever decide to go to France, there are three places that I would personally recommend you should check out. The first one is, of course, the famous Eiffel Tower, which is right here. The second place is called the Lover Museum, and this is a picture right here. There's a really nice triangular shaped monument here, which looks pretty neat. And of course, you have the Palace de Versailles. When it comes to the three most popular sports in this country, we have soccer. You can tell that soccer is a very popular sport around the world by now. But I digress. We have soccer, we have tennis, and we have horseback riding. When it comes to soccer, we had the team of Paris Saint Germain France. For tennis, the best player right now is Joe Wilfred Songa. And right now, the best horseback rider in France is Bruno Bruscol. As always, we have to talk about the food and the place we visit. So today we have three dishes that are very different from each other. The first one is called cassoulet, which is a slow cooked casserole that's filled with rice, beans, and pork. The second dish is called oeuf poche moret, which is a dish that's filled with poached eggs, meat, and different vegetables. And the third dish that looks absolutely amazing is called la religieuse, which is a dessert that's either filled with chocolate or mocha. To close up this week's world tour, we're going to take a look at France's beautiful sceneries. Next week, we're going to continue with our tour, which is mainly going to be in Europe, but we're also going to travel to the Middle East, which is actually where I'm from. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Have a great day and have an awesome weekend. gorgeous sounds like a great place to go visit we hope that you all have a fantastic friday remember to continue to make those good choices and be kind to others and respect your respect your students respect yourselves respect your teachers respect your environment you got this everyone bye